Meanwhile, the United States and Japan have held two plus two security talks in Washington. During the meeting, the two countries also interestingly discussed their shared vision of a modernized alliance that will tackle the 21st century challenges in the Indo-Pacific and also around the world. The talks, in fact, took place ahead of a planned meeting between U.S. President Joe Biden and the Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, which is scheduled to take place tomorrow. And this will, of course, be Kishida's first visit to the White House since taking office in October 2021. And during the latest 2 plus 2 talks, the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin met with the Japanese Foreign and Defense Ministers. The Blinken applauded Japan's decision to double defense spending by the year 2027 and also announced that the United States was all set to sign a new agreement with Japan on cooperation in space. We applaud Japan's pledge to double defense spending by 2027. Japan's strategies align closely with our own national security strategy, both in the key challenges that we identify as well as in how to effectively address them. We're committed to upholding shared values of democracy and human rights, defending the international rule of law, continuing to lead the world in tackling global challenges that no one country can solve alone, like the climate crisis and deadly viruses. The U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin also announced his plans of introducing a Marine Littoral Regiment in Japan. The United States and Japan have also announced security cooperation in the face of the shared worries regarding China. I'll close by reiterating that the U.S.-Japan alliance remains a cornerstone of our Indo-Pacific strategy. And it's critical to upholding a free and open regional order. Our alliance is stronger than ever, building on a foundation of teamwork, trust, and shared values that, that has underpinned our relationship for decades. But during a press briefing, Blinken said that the People's Republic of China is the greatest shared strategic challenge that Washington and its allies presently face. Meanwhile, Biden and Kishida are expected to discuss security issues and the global economy during the talks. And also our correspondent Susan Tehrani has been tracking the story very closely for us and has sent us this report. Listen. It was a meeting aimed at boosting security and a military cooperation between the United States and Japan as U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin met with their Japanese counterparts on Wednesday for the first time in a 2 plus 2 format. The discussions covered a wide range of issues, bringing the two longtime allies even closer due to the ongoing threats posed by China in the region, not to mention North Korea. Noteworthy was the adjustment, not increase, of U.S. troops in the Japanese island of Okinawa. Okinawa is significant. It was the site of one of the bloodiest ground battles at the end of World War II, and the island hosts more than half of U.S. troops in Japan. Okinawans want to see those numbers be reduced. The change in Okinawa is also part of a broader shift being made across the Marine Corps in contested areas particularly in striking range of enemy line. That element is critical in the Indo-Pacific, according to the Pentagon, where thousands of U.S. and allied forces are within missile or even rocket range of both China and North Korea. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.